Okay, students, we are going to print our block. Now, a few minutes ago, I went ahead and printed my block. And what I didn't really like about it, and when I went back and changed, I'm messing around with my camera a little bit so I can get a better frame. Um, I didn't like how dark the trees were against the really dark background. And so I went through and added some more little lines in the sky. And if you look at the real starry night, um, the sky has a lot of texture to it. And really, truly, the, the tree that's on the side has very little texture. Um, another little issue is down here in the corner, it didn't print out quite right. Remember, we're printing opposite of what we see. Um, I shortened my little hedgehog's nose and added a couple of eyes. We'll see how those print out. Um, you can see how some of these lines in here printed here. And like I said, I did not cut very deep at all. Um, in fact, from the side, you can kind of see the, the little tiny notches that are taken out of there. So how do I go ahead and print this? I'm going to set this piece of paper aside. Um, when you go to print this the first couple of times, you might just want to use, you know, whatever scrap paper you have laying around. So a piece of copy paper is fine. The pr paper that I sent you home with, this is screen for, or um, silk, ah, not silk screen. This is um, block print paper. It's kind of expensive. Um, also, another idea with a block print, you are making multiple copies. So I would like you to make five copies of this. And I'll show you in a couple of minutes how we're going to go ahead and number them. So save five pieces of this paper for your final copy. This is what I'm going to print on in just a minute. So I should have sent most of you home with like a little card or something like this. This is so that you can scoop some ink out. If for whatever reason I didn't send you home with this, if you have an old gift card running around and you want to cut it in half, you can take a gift card and cut it in half, depending on how big the container is. Um, you might even just be able to use the gift card. And all of this should wash off with soap and water. Um, I have a piece of paper over here that is clean and dry that I'm going to slide um, this stuff over and I'm going to print on this. But I'm going to leave my block here and I'm going to roll on here. And my cinch hook here is going to second as an inking plate. So it's both a bench hook and an inking plate. So I'm going to open into here. I'm going to use this and I'm going to just scrape up a little bit of ink. And really, truly, you don't need huge, huge, huge amounts. So I don't know if I hold that on there. You can kind of see how much I have on there. Not very, very much. More ink doesn't mean good plate or good print. More ink means goop to fill in the holes and create problems. So with this, I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of scrape the bead across here. I'm not scraping it off. I'm trying to kind of paint something across this that's about the width of my brayer. So if you can see the brayer here, and I know it's a little difficult because it's black on black. I'm trying to get ink all over my brayer. Now, this isn't really goopy. This isn't really soupy. It's just, if you can see the shine on there, it's just a little bit on there. And I'm going to roll it right on my... A lot of this is just trial and error. If you mess up the first time and you fill up these lines with a huge amount of ink, go back and wash your plate off, wash your brayer off, wash this off. So I have that, and you have a really good sense at this point of what this is going to look like when it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here and just slide it over because I want a flat surface. And this is a flat surface. I want to make sure this area right here around where I'm going to make my print is cleaned off. 
are cleared off. Um, I'm going to take my paper. Like I said, it's just scrap paper. I'll lay it on here. And then I can use my finger. Um, a lot of times when I was in college, we called it spoon, and we would take a, a spoon and we would rub on the back of our plate. So I took my paper, my print paper, and laid it on top of my wet stamp. And I am rubbing my finger on the actual plate, trying to get the ink to make a nice solid imprint onto my paper. So I know that that one corner didn't print off well last time, so I'm kind of paying attention to that this time to see if I can get better on there. And we will see what this is. This is called pulling a print. So there's my print. I really like that texture that I added in the background. It kind of adds a little bit more flavor, if you will. Um, you can see kind of the difference. This first print was a little bit better. I can see this is more solid and this is more spotty. And so I know that when I go to print it a second time, I'm going to be like really trying to concentrate on making sure I get that well covered. Um, I like kind of how I changed this. But once again, the ink was a little bit thin there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to print five of these on my good paper. I'm happy with the overall print. I just know that I need to fiddle around with the, the printer ink. I would like you to try to get it so that it's as solid as possible before you start printing on the fancy paper. So we're going to pause it. I'm going to print these off and we'll show you the next step. Probably would not advise doing that. If I was in my printmaking class in college, I'd be washing my hands right now so that I wouldn't be getting printer ink on my paper. Okay, so far I have my five prints pulled. I actually have a couple of extras pulled as well. Um, so here they are. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my scraper thingy. I'm going to take my brayer. I am going to take my bench hook inking plate. And I'm going to take my block over to the sink and I'm going to wash all the ink off and give this stuff a minute to dry and then I will show you the next step. You need to make sure you wash your tools, wash the stuff um, so that it doesn't get goopy and sticky and so that other people can use it in the future. Alrighty, everything has been washed, everything is laid out to dry. Here, well, this has been nice and washed, that's been nice and washed, just to prove. That has washed off clean. So you're really looking at trying to get all the ink off. And now you have a whole series of prints. You have some practice prints. So this one right here is one of my practice prints. I'm going to write practice prints. Using my good handwriting. And I'm trying to keep it small because our prints themselves are very small. It would help if I actually spelled print correctly because I was only half thinking as I was doing this. Um, so, if 
I. This one is not the same as these. So this is not part of my run. If I was in the mood to sell these, I would eliminate this one and this one. And the reason that I would take these out is that I have this area right here and this area right here that didn't register well. And some of the skies kind of messed up. But for this being my first printmaking project and I wanted a um, five picture run for you guys, um, and I'm not selling these, I'm just going to go ahead and number these, title these, number these, and sign these. So the way that I'm going to do that, I have five copies. So right here in the middle of this one, I'm going to put one out of five. This one right here is two out of five. This one right here can be three out of five. This one right here is four out of five. And this one right here is going to be five out of five. On this side, ah, that you can't see. Guys, so you see my side out of five right here. And I'm hoping that that goes away. Good. On this side, I'm going to sign my name. And actually, I don't have a huge amount of room, so a lot of times I'll sign my first initial and my last name, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put the year. And on this side, I'm going to put, um, Starry Hedgehog. Starry mm, Hedgy. So, figure out my name. So, there's my name for my piece. I'm going to write that, like that, my run number and my name. I'm going to sign my others the same way. So this is going to be Starry Hedgy. Um, I'm going to make sure that I write these in pencil each time. I always sign in pencil. That's how you do prints. Um, the reason for that is that a pencil cannot be replicated. So, because I'm creating something that is replicated, signing in pencil tells everybody that that's original. Um, you should probably not stack these up until after they're dry. And the way that you are going to submit these, you are going to take a picture of all five of them together. And then you're going to take a second picture of the best one you had. So where just a minute ago, I had them all laid out on the table and you can see them all together. Um, you're going to do that. Take one picture that way. And then the second picture is you're going to take just one picture up close of the best of the five you have. And so I think actually this one might be one of the better ones. I have a little bit of registration problem. Well, that was my registration problem right there. Um, this one right here. That one's probably my best one. So this is the one that I would go ahead and take a picture of for the final. And that, my friends, is how you do a block print. If you enjoy this process and you want to do a second one, you can do a second one. Um, if you want to do a larger one in the spring, you can do a larger one in the spring. So there we go. You can see all these species together. And there's my final.